So Todd Kelly, second in the Patchwick Trophy, doing it for the two strokers. What, what made you uh, ride a two straight today? Uh, so I'm going to race uh, Black Soul this weekend coming okay. on the uh, MX2 bike. And uh, I looked at the dates and I was like, oh wow, Patch Beach Wednesday, this is uh, coming up this weekend. So I thought, oh, it makes sense. Uh, I feel like I may have been a bit closer to Comrade. I don't think I would have beat him on a 450, but somewhat closer. But I had a really good night. I just had a real good fun. And it was a great show for the crowd and, and, and nice to, to, to check the bike, you know. Um, yeah, all full systems, full systems ahead for this weekend, really. Yeah, and um, like you said, it the Wednesday meetings, it has a complete different vibe, doesn't it? It's so chilled out, it's so relaxed. But, you know, you were giving it your all, especially that last moto. You know, Comrade couldn't back off at all. Were you pushing it? Yeah, it's nice. Like you say, these Wednesday Wednesday evenings, Good Fridays, you know, the Bank Holiday Monday races, they just seem to gain so much traction. You know, like this week I was ringing some guys, oh, you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm, yeah, I'm coming. And it's, it's mega. I love to see it. I think, you know, it's, it's cheap to get in. It's a great evening. It's, it's, it's perfect for everyone to come, come down and have a watch. But like you said, I, I definitely was trying hard. You know, the first couple of races I was trying to find my feet. And in the last moto, I really wanted to try and stick on with comrade and just see what what the score was and uh late on i was getting a bit getting a bit loose here and there so i thought oh you know i've, I've, I've entered the weekend i want to ride the weekend I'm, I'm happy to take second second to comrade you know arguably the best in the country at the moment so yeah really happy cool and going into black so any expectations is because i was thinking about this earlier and i say are you going there to have fun but you love what you do you love the job yeah like like so you're always there to have fun but you're a competitor so whenever, whenever i get on a two-stroke i'm just like grinning ear to ear so i'm happy to ride that and uh it's just nice to ride in the uk every now and again because i think it's quite it's quite quick for people to forget that i can still ride a motocross bike you know and i still do a bit of motocross i do i do a lot of french international motocross uh which is great and yeah i'm gonna go for go for the best job but those those guys are those guys are on form at the moment i think uh, arguably mx2 is is, is hotter than MX1, so it's not, it's, it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. No, it is a, is a cracking class actually. And uh, yeah, talking about you know being back in the UK, you've been to Australia, you've been you've travelled the world really in the last year or so, haven't you? Yeah, I've had a stellar year, absolutely incredible. You know, I got coming off my second Latuka victory, then we went to Argentina, I had another victory there. So for the World Championship, everything's going in the right direction. And then to be honest, after Argentina, I had a hard season after my injury in October, so I was I was chilled. I was that was me satisfied I was gonna sit on the sofa and uh, enjoy my new house so um, and I had a call from Alexander Kowalski from Yamaha saying oh do you want to ride in Sardinia I was like uh, I've been on the sofa for a month but I can't I can't turn down this opportunity you know it was it was an incredible experience I didn't really have enough time on the bike and I didn't really have enough time to to prepare physically how I would like to but uh, it's really difficult now everything's so specialist you can't you can't dabble at this you can't do you, you can't do beat tricks and uh, and and MXGP so I was at ease with where I came I was in the points which is it's great for me I'm really pleased with that uh, the team treated me phenomenally and then like you say after that I've just been going here there and everywhere lots of French international races which is great because I've got a really nice following now in the in the north of France and uh yeah, it's, it's good to see those guys and uh, and then I'm uh, moving on to Australia uh, it was an incredible journey a crazy race unfortunately it rained uh, the whole time we were there but it's obviously their winter so it was uh, it was always going to be that way but I had fun I, I didn't take too many chances you know the problem with these races when you're you're going here there and everywhere you, you can't you can't push the envelope you know um, my, my priority is to win the world championship of, of sand Cool, so that is the, the goal. How many more rounds are that? Obviously, Western is one of them. Yeah, so West, unfortunately, Western is the next race, and unfortunately, that is going to be the first round of the French Championship the same weekend. So as it stands at the moment, I'm completely up in the air what uh, what to do, and I, ultimately, it's going to determine what Yamaha want me to do. Um, but yeah, we have Western would be the next one, and then we go to Italy, and then we go to Portugal, and then the final round will be in uh, in the south of France, in Hosegor, uh, in December. Cool. So, obviously, you know, if you can get the job done, another few tough rounds, obviously every beach race is hard. Yeah. What is the goal for you? Because there's not many things you haven't done. What, what you know, going forward, you're still a young guy. What is the goal going forward? You know, where do you see yourself? Say, say three years, where, where do you see yeah, yourself? Yeah, so I've just recently signed a contract with Yamaha France, uh, Yamaha Europe for another three years to race uh, the World Championship and the, and the French Championship uh, beach racing. Um, and that's, 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 I'm quite satisfied with that. You know, I'm making enough money that I can uh, afford to get by. I'm, I'm, I'm at ease with that. And ultimately I would have, a, I would have a big passion to go to Dakar, but 
the problem with Dakar at this current state of time is you're either you're either making really good money or you're paying really good uh, really big money. So yeah. um, there needs to be a transition period, and that, that is definitely not an easy transition. Uh, a good friend of mine, Adrian Van Beveren, he 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 made the transition, and he he actually won his last Le 2K just after finishing a fifth at Dakar. So it, it's something to look forward to. Obviously, currently Yamaha don't have a, a rally team, so that's another complication. Complication because I've got a great relationship with Yamaha, and I'm very loyal to them. So um, we'll see. We'll see. At the moment, I'm really I'm really pleased and proud with uh, what I've achieved and how things. Going. Superb, thanks a lot, and again, well done for this evening, and good luck uh, for Sunday at Black Soul. Thank you very much. Thank you.